Audacity looks like this. It is a little icon, blue headphones, little yellow and blue thing, or yellow and red waveform on it. This is the program. Um, so some basics here. What we're looking at is this program. Uh, we're going to record audio down here in this area. Um, we have some features. Um, a record button down here. We have a play button. We have a pause, stop, left, the return to the home or skip to the end uh, thing there. We don't mess around with the core audio. That's a different way we change some stuff that way. We're not worrying about that one. We're looking at the microphone. I have my good microphone plugged in here. And so that shows up on, on here as a selection. You most likely will have your built-in microphone. The other option is to use your headphones. So if you have Apple or Android earplugs, earbuds, they have a microphone on them, you can use that microphone to talk into. It does a pretty good job of, of recording and everything. So we have that. The next one over says mono recording and yours might say stereo recording. Mono recording looks like this. Mono track. It's a single track. When I hit record, it's going to start recording the audio, and you can see that it's putting it on there. The little blue things right here are. It's called a waveform, and this is actually a visual representation of my voice. So as I'm talking and not talking, you can see that re represented inside the uh, the wave here. So it continues to go over here and just add more waveform and more sounds as I'm as I'm moving through so that's a mono track we also have we also have a stereo track um, so we have some features over here that allow you to either solo let this be the only audio that comes through or you can hit mute which is going to turn that audio off so if I go to track and add a new stereo track you'll see that it pops up here with two it's a left channel let me hit record it's a left channel and a right channel. And right now I don't really have anything. I don't have two microphones. If I had two microphones, I could record one on either side and it would record a little bit from each and you could hear it in your left ear and your right ear. So this is two tracks um, versus one track. The, uh, the, my suggestion for uh, our work in here is going to be only using the single track because it will let us see um, we don't need to have two tracks we don't have two microphones we don't have to have a left channel right channel um, but that's that so when I go back to the beginning and I hit play recording the audio and you can see that it's putting it on there the little blue things right here are, it's called a waveform and this is actually a visual representation of my voice so as I'm talking and not talking you can see that right so I press spacebar that allows me to stop so I can start and stop using the spacebar um, but now I have some features here that are kind of cool I have a uh, a selection tool little eye beam here if I click on that selection tool and highlight it I can actually select bits of this audio and if I press the spacebar or click play represented Represented, 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 represented. Right, I can have it play over and over. The other thing I can do with this is if I select that, and maybe I don't want this section, whatever this, I don't even know what this says. So it continues to go over here and just, so, it, so if I don't want that there, I hit delete, boom, it's gone. You don't have to worry about that part anymore. If that was an error, I can delete it. Delete waveform and more sounds as I'm the wave here waveform and more sounds as so it doesn't make any sense now because there wasn't a flow of of audio or, or a, a constant thought I was just talking um, but what we have here this waveform as it goes through uh, we can see different spots we know where we're making mistakes uh, we can we can select those edit them erase them um, do all sorts of fun stuff. The other things we can do, um, just so you can see what these look like, is I can highlight a section of this audio. The little blue things right here are it's called a waveform. There we go. Let me get that whole part right there. 
the little blue things right here are it's called a waveform. Okay. And I have a a menu item up here across the top called effect. And the effect allows us to change some stuff. I haven't used some of these. I've used a handful of them. I haven't used many. Um, amplify lets our lets it make our, our sound go a little bit louder. So these this waveform would reach up a little bit closer to the upper and lower levels here. Um, just makes it louder. Amplify, kick the volume up just a little bit. Um, the ones that we use for different things are the changing of the pitch and the speed and the tempo. The pitch allows you to do stuff like this. Whoop, oh, I have to go down here to preview. The little blue things right here, are, it's called a waveform. So it makes me sound like a little elf, right? It's changing, it does not change the the tempo, it doesn't make it any, f or the speed, it doesn't make it any faster. It's the same exact speed. The only thing it's doing. The little blue things right here, are, it's called a waveform. Is it just changes the pitch. And so this is, um, you guys have heard like the uh, the vocoders and the, the auto-tune type things where they keep you at the right pitch. If you have like, if you can't sing, make it sound like you sing, right? Right. So. <laughs> So you can you can have it if if the whole thing is in the key of E you can and you only sing in the key of D. The little blue things right here are, it's called a waveform. So then it will it'll make that change for you. Zero is the exact same as this one. So there's no. The little blue things right here are, it's called a waveform. So if I do a negative one, it's going to go down one half step. If you know piano, if you know piano keys. The whites and the blacks. Every every time it goes from the to the next half, or the from the white key to a black key, black key to a white key, white key to a black key, black key to a white key, black, so on all the way down. Each one of those is a half step. So if I go down to like a negative four, negative five, whatever. The little blue things right here are it's called a waveform. Kind of creepy, um, but I can do that to the uh, to the audio. The other things I can do, I can adjust the tempo, which is going to adjust the, the speed without changing the pitch. So it doesn't, it doesn't change that at all. So right now, the little blue things right here, are, it's called a waveform. It's 60% faster. So if you've ever listened to the end of a commercial and they have that like, like the exactly the, the parts that they tell you you're, you're probably going to die when you take this medicine, but they want to make it so fast that you still think it's a good medicine. Those are the guys that are trying to sell you cars and they're going to sell you a junker, but they want to make it so fast that they make it sound like you're buying a good car, that kind of stuff. So they speed it up something like this. So they can run it really fast. Anyway, I can also slow it down. The little blue things right here, are, it's called the waveform. Just trying to slow it down. Notice how it does not change the pitch. It doesn't change that at all. It only changed that tempo. Um, there's one last one on here. It does the speed, and the speed does both. It goes the pitch and, let's see. So if I do this, it's going to change. You can see the new length is a little bit shorter. Um, the little blue things right here, are, it's called a waveform. It's going up. The little blue things right here, are, it's called a waveform. So it changes both the speed and the uh, pitch, or the tempo and the pitch. Um, so you can modify those things. Anyway, I'm done with that part. Um, so our first project in here is going to be developing a, what I call the About Me project. And so you're going to develop a list of 15 pieces of information about you. So my name is Mr. Miller. Let me do one really quick. I'm going to get rid of this one. So I can go like this. Hi, my name is Mr. Miller. I like the color blue. My favorite number is 42. I like... Uh, I like my seventh hour only because I don't have any students in here. It means I'm one hour away from going home. Um, just kidding. Sixth hour is my favorite. And uh, I like summer vacation a lot. Okay, I'm done. Right? So that's, you want to do 15 things. You're not going to be, so what I want to do now is I'm going to listen to that again. Hi, my name is Mr. Miller. 
I like the color blue. My favorite number is 42. I like... Uh, I like See that right there, this part? I like... Uh, so I'm trying to come up with an, I, my thought in my head, and I can't come up with anything, so I just... Uh, whatever. I can, I can delete that. And now... My favorite number is 42. I like my seventh hour only because I don't have any students in here. It means I'm one hour away from going home. Um, just kidding. Sixth hour is my favorite. And I so I can. Just kidding. Sixth hour is my favorite. So I can come back through here. I got to come all the way down. Ah, zoom back out. There we go. So I can, I can slide this back over. I like my seventh hour only because I don't have any students in here. It means I'm one hour away from going home. Um, just kidding. Sixth hour is. So if I erase all that. Sixth hour is my favorite. Whoops. I chopped off my. Delete. Sixth hour is my. Whoops. Undo. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit more. Oops. Ah. Delete. Command Z. Sixth hour is my favorite. And uh, I like summer vacation a lot. Okay, I'm done. So I delete that. Um, delete the end of it. And now if I come back to the beginning, I didn't have 15 things. Hi, my name is Mr. Miller. I like the color blue. My favorite number is 42. Sixth hour is my favorite. I like summer vacation. Okay, so I, I chopped it up. I took all the junk out, and now it sounds halfway decent. Um, and so, so I have my all the stuff that I've done here. Um, I can I can now take this project, and I could save it if it had 15 items. Save it, um, and then submit this as the final project for this assignment. So when you save things in Audacity, we have a project that we save. File, save project. It's going to pop up the Save As window. I suggest making an Audacity folder either in your documents or your desktop, making a folder called Audacity. That way you have a place to save all these things. It's going to save it as an Audacity project file. And I can give this a name. I'm going to say About Me, Sixth Hour. Hit Save. And what we're going to see in here, if I go to Finder, I have this one. Oh, there it is. Popped in. I have this thing called About Me 6th Hour Data and About Me 6th Hour AUP. This is the project file. This is all the data for the project file. So these two things have to be in the exact same folder. If they're not in the same folder, it'll say that it's corrupt. It can't find it. It doesn't work that way. So, um, so with these these files, when we save them, they have to be saved together in the same location. So if you saved it to your desktop, make sure you don't drag this into the uh, folder because it'll get lost in there and then it won't work. So um, let me go back one. Okay, there we go. So I have my, my folder saved there. Now when I want to save my project and I want to send it in as an ex as my final part of like the the uh, assignment to get it graded I'm gonna go up here to file and export as mp3 this one's kind of cool I can say about me sixth hour but what I'd want to do is put my name here mr. Miller and then it saves it as an mp3 file. It's saving it inside this Audacity folder, so I know it's saving right there. And when I come over, well, I probably had to put like a 6 because I think I did it for third hour, the exact same. Um, I hit save. And then it gives me the ability to edit the tags that are associated with this uh, file. So I can say my artist name is Ben, Beb, Ben Miller. My track title is 42. Whoop. 42, uh, I am the cool, man, I can't even type. Coolest person I know. Track number, oops, track title is, 
the LD42 track number is 11. Um, year 2020, the genre. This is where there's a whole list of things that are associated with the genres, all sorts of different um, options there, um, like podcast, um, classic rock, um, so on. So I can do anything like that, but I'm, I'm just going to do punk rock. Um, and then I can change this info if necessary. And then once I do that, if I'm going to have the same, if I'm making a whole bunch of tracks, I can do that again. I can save this and then next time I can load it in. The next time I finish a track, I can load it in and have all this information already filled out. Just change one or two things on there and I'm good to go. So anyway, I'm going to hit save or OK. You'll see a little thing blink on there. Nope, it's too short. It didn't even show up. So now if I go back out to Finder, you'll see that I have a file here called About Me 6th Mr. Miller. I can click on it. I can listen. Hi, my name is Mr. Miller. I like the color blue. My it's playing up there. Um, I can also open it up in, uh, in uh, iTunes. And this time, same exact thing. You'll notice that at the across the top, it has my my name. I'm the co coolest person I know. Track number or track title is 42. Um, if I click on the three dots here and song info, I can see all the same stuff I already added. Song number or song title is 42. The artist, the album, the genre is punk rock. I could change this if I want to. Um, 11 of 22, whatever you want to do there. Hit OK, it saves it, all that junk. So, so we have the, that option of, of saving these files. So in order to get graded for this assignment, you need to export the About Me as an MP3, and then you have to upload that one into Google Classroom, OK? So that's. That's project number one. Um, I'll let you guys work on developing a list of things. You need to develop those in Google Docs. So we're going to develop the, uh, the list of items in Google Docs, and we'll go from there. Okay? Questions? All right. <laughs>